he's being called Don Porleone on social media, but Donald Trump's finances are about to get a big boost. Trump Media and Technology Group, the parent company of True Social, will likely become a publicly traded company this week, following Digital World Acquisition Corp's approval of a merger last Friday. As we record this, Trump just got a lifeline for that judgment in his civil fraud case. The bond was reduced from $454 million to $175 million by the New York Appeals Court. Trump now has 10 days to pose that bond. Um, I don't know why he gets a break, but what do you think about this deal? The Trump Media and Technology Group has a market value of around $5 billion based on a $37 share price of Digital World Acquisition Corp. Trump owns 60%. His overall net worth will increase by about $3 billion. That said, you know, this is a meme stock, no matter how you slice it. There's also a lockup provision in the merger agreement that would, in theory, prevent Trump from selling his shares for at least six months. He can, um, the lockup agreement could be waived by the board, which includes his son, um, his son, uh, Don Jr., Devin Nunes, a CEO, and Linda McMahon, who who used to run WWE or whatever she did over there. Uh, they're all friends of. But if he sells, you know, the price will go down. If he sells, there's going to be lawsuits aplenty. Um, it's obviously a meme stock or a way to, to funnel him money somehow. I'll say the last thing, two last things. DWAC, the SPAC that merged with um, Trump's company, was already a meme stock to start with. Um, As Fast Company put it, Donald Trump's true social could be the memeiest meme stock that ever memed. And uh, once again, Republican mega donor Jeff Yass was the biggest institutional shareholder of DWAC, according to a report in The New York Times. He's also a major investor in TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, as we discussed last week. Uh, I don't know. This is just a feels like a lawsuit, like a securities lawsuit waiting to happen. But your thoughts, Scott, this is your area of expertise. So say you were running for president and you needed a bond of half a billion dollars and you knew someone who was the largest shareholder in TikTok. And you said, if I become president, I'll make sure it isn't banned or whatever it is. You could get someone by virtue of the White House. You could get them billions of dollars in shareholder value. And you met with them on a golf course and you said, oh, and by the way, There's a very small float in this SPAC that I have a large interest in. If you were just to throw, say, 10, 20, 30 million, maybe 50 million at this thing and keep the stock price elevated, that would make me very happy. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at Digital World Acquisition Company, the SPAC that's, I think, de-SPACing to take over Trump's True Social, True Social, the numbers I've seen were that year to date, it's done three and a half million in revenue. Something like that, yeah. The hottest AI companies stocks in the world are trading at like 60 or 70 times revenue. But but Donald Trump's Truth Social, which has 5 million active users, which they is lose money. literally nothing, mm-hmm. made $3.5 million, it's is revenue. run by a former congressman turned social media CEO, Devin Nunes. That's worth 600 times revenue. So something, and maybe it's just a meme stock. But does it feel like a, fl- a way to give money? Like it just totally does. It's like this is going to be so investigated. I can't even. Well, okay. Stand let me it. be clear. There's corruption all over Washington. Nancy this Pelosi. It ends corrupting. up is the greatest. I get it. Speaker Pelosi or former Speaker Pelosi is a god has godlike stock picking capability, as do a bunch of other members of Congress. There is corruption on both sides of the aisle here. This seems this this one really stinks. He has the right to start a company as a private citizen. He has the right to merge it with a SPAC. They have the right, he has the right to sell it after six months. I'm just speaking purely, I have never seen a company that feels like a better short. And this isn't financial advice because you have non-economic interests in this thing and it could go to 100 if he's elected president. But this is a company with three and a half million in revenue that's trading for billions of dollars in value. He, He has the right to start it. He has the right to sell that stock. It's not going to happen in time Unless maybe he can borrow against it, I don't know. Who's the whole ta- thing? I mean, it's got to be donors that take. It. It's just oh, oh, I just this is like the, so uh, legal. The president, is, I want to file a lawsuit right now. The president should be paid ten million dollars a year. Oh. Every senator should be paid one million dollars a year, if mm-hmm. not two million dollars a year. And every representative, every representative should be paid a million dollars a year for the following: all of your stocks go into a blind trust and they're held there for five years after you leave office and you cannot go to work for anyone, anyone that's going to benefit for a government contract, pay these people a shit ton of money so they don't have to paint their fence while they're in office for when they get out of office. It's just, 
the corruption here is just it's just too yeah. tempting yeah i don't know if they i, I think i just again when he sells it'll drop the stock uh, i think it's a way of giving him money this is what it feels like it's like a back way to do it i think um, you're right the fact that you're mixing social media donald trump tiktok and and stock meme stocks is just like literally it's the peak 2024 it's peak 2024 this guy as always, has found a way out. He's got to be the luckiest fuck in America. He really is. Um, that said, I think this is just aching for lit- litigators to come at this and investigators. And it'll be our—it's our next thing. Whatever happens here, whatever the emails they're trading. By the way, this company is also embroiled in all kinds of legal action with its current with with the people who started it. There's all and the and the DWAC guy. There's all kinds of, he's now suing, he's now anti-Trump, and they are kind of anti-Trump also, the ones that love Trump. So within this, there's also more lawsuits. There was a good piece in the Washington Post about that, and they've been following it. So there's lawsuits inside of lawsuits inside of lawsuits, which is sort of the the brand of Donald Trump. So we'll see what happens here, but I don't think you should necessarily rely on this, but it's it's a damn good way to... Get him money, you know, and of course, it totally explains his flip flop on TikTok. Give me a break. You just have to follow the money with this guy because he's he's for sale and he loves money. Um, and so he'll do whatever it takes to hold on to it. He'll do what, what he'll, he'll sell a steak or water or a piece of shit university to do so. So it's kind of gross, grotesque, in my feeling.